if anybody can make uh, batting look uh, an easy pastime on this uh, pitch it's uh, Brian Lara he's in at number three for the West Indies Fraser can't stop it It'll roll away to the boundary it's a bit like Viv Richards Paul he loves getting off the mark with a boundary four Problem with Lara in the first, given not out by umpire Daryl Hare. I don't think it passed outside the back, it passed between back and pad, and perhaps just clipping the pad on the way through. That was another good decision by umpire Daryl here. A lovely stroke that is. It really is. Uh, an example of an on drive out of the textbook with its clean and tidy foot foot movement and the lovely free swing of the bat through the line of the ball that's a real good one oh well that's amazing dean headley can't believe it there's a look of shock on every englishman's face Umpire Eddie Nichols shows no interest. England is very confident about it. Just clipping the back pad there, that's the noise. Umpires have been under pressure in this match. Very keen to pull Lara. Saw him get up that, that in the first innings with the under edge. Hasn't really timed this one all that well, but it's still gone for four. No runs have been added so far, and Angus Fraser is bowling to Brian Lara. Oh, he's gone for the pull, hasn't bounced much. Stewart after it. Leg buys. Worthwhile shout by England. I think what saved the Brian Lara here was the fact that the ball was heading towards the slip border. It was not one of those anybody coming back in towards him. Not too sure that Brian Lara will be quite happy with these shots though. No ball. And uh, that's a bad delivery in every sense of the word. It's a no ball. It's short and wide. There's no third man. Lara advances by it. Four more. No ball again, and four more. Atherton's going to have to uh, station a third man down there. He simply can't afford boundaries this early in the piece. Up in the air, Russell's after it, and takes it. Another wicket for Fraser, the night watchman's gone. The West Indies lose their third wicket. They're 82 for three. I think Kenny Benjamin was caught completely by surprise by that short ball from Angus Fraser. Not many of the England bowlers have bowled any short balls in this test match. And Jack Russell has taken a reasonably simple catch. Had to make some ground, but he got there quite quickly. Was settled under it and a comfortable catch. It's 82 for three. Vice captain comes out to join the captain. Carl Hooper missed out in the first innings here, but played one of the great test innings to win the second test match here at Port of Spain. He's taking the Mickey on the offside of the field as well this morning. Doesn't matter how many men you put there, the third man is a square gully, a square cover, an extra cover, and a mid-off. If you bowl it short and wide, and Lara just hammers you through there. That must be close. Bia got him. Just what we were talking about. The need to bring the ball back into Brian Lara. Fraser's managed to do it off the seam. 
and Daryl Hare has awarded him an LBW decision. This is marvellous, marvellous bowling from Angus Fraser. We've had Lara probing around off stump, and look at this, nipping it back. It's uh, hit him in line with middle.